Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and today we are going to carry on with the inventory. We're almost finished now. Um, we're just allowing for the inventory amps to be slotted as you can see here. Uh, now as you can see, we've got multiple um, quick slot items of like the same kind down here. They're not actually duplicated. Um, these are like the items and these just allow you different slots to put them in. So you can put them in two slots if you want, it doesn't matter. And you can right click to get rid of them. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is if we go in script player inventory, I'm just going to copy and paste this in and I'll talk you through it. So after the first else if statement, we have this. This is the quick slot section. So we're just saying if my Y again is at the bottom of the screen, we, we've seen this code a couple of times now. And then we're looking for this slots again. And then we're saying, so if we, we've clicked in, we've, so at this point, uh, if you remember, uh, up here, so I'm selected no one, so else, which means someone is already selected from the inventory. So if we put it in the click, the quick slot bit, then UI slot one or two or three or four, depending on where we are, equals the UI in selected. So moving into script player quick slotting, I'm just going to paste this in again. So what you have to do is if mouse button is right, so if, and if UI slot selected to no one, then again, if we're in the positions, depending on the position that we click, the slot becomes no one. And then down here, we'll just say, else if mouse button is the left mouse button. So now that, that means we now have to have a couple of changes in here. Um, so after UI slot selected is no one, we then have to say, if uh, my Y is bigger or equal to 360 minus 32. So again, if it's at the bottom of the screen, where these slots are, then we'll do what we was allowed to do before. But we also uh, need to say, um, just after this, if ui.inv selected is no one, uh, then do it. Because the reason we have to do this is because we're going to allow both, when we're in the inventory state, we're going to allow the inventory script to run and also the quick slot in script to run at the same time. Uh, so yeah, that just this is what has to happen. And then just at the bottom here, we're going to say inf dot inf selected now equals no one, just like that. So now if we go to object Rupert, in the state event or in the step event, sorry, where we're dealing with the states, just delete these uh, these brackets. Let's have a new line, and then under that, we're just going to say script player quick slotting. So, if we now go to object UI, if we go to the step event, we now need to have a look at the quick slots. So, a couple of things have to change in here. So, first of all, we have to kind of say we have to initialize parent, and that's just going to be object um, get parent and then slot one. And then in this bit here, we have to change this to just say if um, oops, parent equals par tool, uh, and then we do it. And we just need to do that for all of them. So yeah, there you go, guys. As you can see, I've just changed them all and made sure that um, in object get parent, the the actual proper slot is there, and that's for all of them, including the if par tool, if par equals par tool there. Also, before we do that, we have to edit the inventory slightly because I've just realized in slot one, we're saying we've got the pickaxe, but they're not actually in the inventory, so it's not working properly anymore. So let's just uh, copy and paste these in into the inventory. And then in slot, just make these one, one, and one. So let's have a look now. Uh, also, if you go back to... Um, script to play quick slot. So down here we just need to say if UI dot show inv is false and this is in the script play quick slotting. Um because if 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 the show inv is true that means we're actually in state invent inventory and we don't want this to be able to happen. So yeah just edit this to look like this. And yeah so let's see if it's worked. And yeah there we go guys as you can see we can can we remove them? Yes we can. Now let's just uh oops uh, right then guys, so I finally got this working. Um, 
It's taken me a little while to just... Because there was something wrong and I had no idea what it was. Uh, and to be honest with it, I still don't know. But what I've done is I just copied and pasted in the script play inventory from my from the project I work on before I put it up to YouTube and it, it works again. So I'm just going to put this in the description as a download link. Uh, I think what had happened was there was just some small little thing in here that I'd missed or that I'd mistyped. Um, or perhaps, you know, some of these um, calculations. I think one of them was wrong and it was throwing all of this off. Um, so, yeah, just copy and paste it in from the description, guys. All the code is exactly the same, except whichever error was in there, it's fixed. I just couldn't see, because there's that much in here now that, yeah, I just couldn't see. But yeah, make sure you copy and paste it in, guys, and then you have a situation where we can do this. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And the next episode will be the final inventory one where we just get items from the inventory dropping back onto the floor. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey, guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and want more content like this. And please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.